Yeah. Come with say yeah. This is Carbro's podcast episode 70. It's not quite the same as the last <laughs> 70. one. 70. 70. I don't know how to say it cool. 70. Mm-hmm. What, number, what, what number comes right before 70? 70. Uh, I believe that is 69. <laughs> 68. <laughs> well, anyways. What up? What's up? Thank you for being here. Welcome back. Um, what's up to our patrons? What's up? What's up, guys? Yo. Very special hello. If you're interested in being a patron, do it. Google Carbro's Patreon. It is that easy. Well, you also have to like sign up <laughs> and, and yeah. put some credit There's card information. Some buttons, I assume. <laughs> yeah. I've never signed up for our Post own Patreon. Yeah. Apparently other people have. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. We, so we record these podcasts two at a time, sometimes one at a time, sometimes two at a time. Mm-hmm. So we're not sure if the Fieri sold yet. But if it did, it could, mm-hmm. the bidding could be hot right now. <laughs> yeah. It's either hot and thank you, or wasn't that neat how it sold? And thank you for all the bids. Or, sorry, it hasn't been listed yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of those combinations of things. We're also on the brink of uh, reaching 100,000 subscribers on the YouTube we channel. We may or may not have hit 1,000 yeah. subs mm. at the point of this recording. <laughs> I really want that plaque apparently you get a plaque yeah yeah you get something for a hundred thousand and then is the next one a million yes that's it well we're never gonna get there yeah we're never gonna get there i mean i don't we just pay for some subscribers we get some like indian bot farm Uh we probably don't even deserve a hundred thousand but we'll take what we can get so thank you to all of you who are subscribed to our channel helping us reach one hundred thousand internet points Uh (laughs) we will get our plaque soon and display it proudly Okay, so three podcasts ago, um, somebody, shoot, I didn't save who sent that. Hold on. I don't want to not give credit to them. Ryan da- Daherty. I don't know how to say that. What's up, Ryan? Ryan. Um, he said in episode 68, we mentioned why doesn't a vehicle come factory NOS? Mm-hmm. We were talking about NOS and how sweet it is. Mm-hmm. And NOS. How it's just like gone now. Yeah, NOS. NOS. And he sent us this thing. Um, here it is. It is a Ford Focus from 2004. The Saline N2O. That's, that stands for nitrous. Which is nitrous oxide, <laughs> I guess. Uh, Focus. Um, and it comes with nitrous. From I mean, I don't know if you call this from the factory, but factory enough. Pretty close, yeah. Like, would you get it from a Ford dealership? Oof. I'm not sure. Can you get it serviced at a Ford dealer? <laughs> I don't fill know. Your bottle? Yeah. I don't know how this thing was sold, but it, so it's, here it is. And it looks like pretty aggressive for the time body kit mm-hmm. and a stock focus motor with a 70 shot. Damn. <laughs> nitrous 70 or 75 shot. And according to this, if you, it comes with the bottle, it comes with everything set up, but the bottle is empty. And if you fill the bottle and use the nitrous, it voids the warranty. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. But it's pretty funny. It's like this like semi pimped out car. They're trying their best. With this bone stock drive tra- motor mm-hmm. with a. 70 shot of nitrous on it 75 shots sorry which is like kind of funny like they didn't do anything to it it's not even like an intake or anything they just like fucking put nitrous on it and so according to this it takes it from a 16.1 to a 14.6 quarter mile that's not bad which is like yeah i don't know this is just kind of reminding me of how like mediocre performance cars were in the early 2000s <laughs> yeah it was like oh cool <laughs> <laughs> like great <laughs> way to go yeah this is around the time where it was kind of like a desert of performance cars Yep. And it's really the, if I'm remembering correctly, it's really the O3 Cobra and the like WRX. Yeah. That kind of signaled. That, that the, was like when we were in high school. Yeah. It was like, ooh, like it's back a little bit. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, 03 Cobra was like, that's pretty rad. It's big boy. It's, I mean, it still is. And WRX. That like kind of kickstarted things. Because there were a few years there where it was like, cars just aren't good. Mm-hmm. There's like nothing exciting out of the factory. And you have stuff like this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Focus with nitrous. This was as hot as it came. This is as hot as it came, folks. This is so half-assed. Can you mm-hmm. imagine if they did a model now where it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's a Charger. It's a V6 and it's got nitrous. <laughs> <laughs> Don't count that out. <laughs> well, it's like knowing what Dodge does. Performance cars are so insane right mm-hmm. now. It's like the value you get. It's like all sorts of shit where this one is like, yeah, it's body kit and nitrous. <laughs> <laughs> here, here you go. Do you like this? No warranty. <laughs> no warranty. It's yeah. got custom floor mats too. I mean, they just go above and beyond now. We're so spoiled now with the mm-hmm. factory like effort that was put into aftermarket shit. Anyways, thank you for sending that over to us, Ryan. Appreciate it. Um, okay, the other awesome user submitted thing. I think about like forty percent of our good content is user submitted. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is from Brandon Veers. What's up, Brandon? What's up, Brandon? Uh, patron and all around great guy. He sent us this Corolla commercial, which is just basically like out of nowhere. I don't think anything prompted this. We have not. At least I have not. Yeah, I haven't seen it. I've checked it out. So um, here's a little taste of this commercial. Okay, so that's a little taste. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and this commercial is a minute long, and I'm just going to tell you, it does, that's it. That's yeah. just the, you got the, the plot doesn't really thicken. Yeah. This is basically what it is. Um, but why don't you Where guys... Where is this from? Like Colombia? Yeah, or something. something. Puerto Rico or something. Um, don't play it yet. Just line the playhead up for 30 seconds. Here's one part of this commercial I want to... Draw your attention to. Okay, okay. you ready? Mm-hmm. All right, go ahead and play it. <laughs> Damn, he's fucking booking it. Okay, yeah, that's why I'd pause it. Okay, so that fucking speedometer. Uh-huh. Everything about this commercial is like, yeah, okay, it's a Corolla. And then they slip. If you're audio only, they slip this shot of the speedometer. Is that kilometers? Yeah, I'm assuming that's kilometers, but even still. Oh is it okay that's a little bit more acceptable because in my mind i thought this was my (laughs) (laughs) although hold on hang on a sec i'm gonna let me still let me confirm this yeah yeah it says it says km all right hold on i'm still you're you're, uh, you're still not sure about its legit (laughs) yeah so that is eh. Okay, that's about 60 to 90 miles an hour. Yeah. I'm still going to call bullshit in like, on yeah. that. In like three seconds. Yeah, for yeah. sure. That is still just, this is not happening. No. I think that's bullshit. I think that's I think that's a speedometer out of the car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that makes this less funny. I thought it was miles per hour. Yeah. And I was like, hold the fuck well, up. Well, no, I mean, really, it's still, because this car is probably slow as fucking shit. <laughs> that's what I mean. This is a slow-ass car. There is no way. Yeah, this thing I probably just, makes like 100 horsepower at the most. Yeah, I think that's bullshit. Even kilometers per hour, I'm calling bullshit. That's yeah. like that's like performance car speed. And so everything else about this is like, yeah, it's kind of bullshit commercial. But uh, actually, now that you say that, that kind of reminds me of like the forum days. I'm like, I'm calling bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> on what? Anything? Just, just like on anything. Someone's story. Especially, someone's like, post. especially like something car related. Like, yeah, I beat a... Uh, I beat a Z28 my Accord. Or Does something. that happen anymore? Like kill stories? <laughs> know, so I'm out at night with my girlfriend. <laughs> that used to be like kind of common. Well, like every forum used to have like a section. Kills. <laughs> so I'm in my vet with heads and whatever. Uh-huh. Here are the mods. No, it was more like I, I, I'm in my gutted CRX and this old guy pulls up with his lady. Mm-hmm. He's in a vet. So I dump it. <laughs> I'm spinning out of first. He grabs second clean. So I think they just like don't do that anymore. Like three cars. <laughs> and he, won't, and he won't even look at me. Yeah, he misses third. I blow past and I hit my 75 shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of like a lost art form. Mm-hmm. 
Um, what does the audience think? Now I now I need to know. Do you guys think that speedometer is bullshit or what? Yeah, for sure. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. think so? Yeah. But that's isn't that like false advertising? Because that that car probably did zero to sixty in like thirteen seconds. Yeah, zero to a hundred kmh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, like I don't even know if that car could do ninety miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Like that's pushing it. The crazy thing about this ad is this car is brand new in this ad, and mm-hmm. it just looks like, old. Yeah, it looks like to me. It looks like clapped out, mm-hmm. <laughs> like old. Anyways. Um, Did they even clear coat cars back then? Like, because they they don't they don't look shiny. In, like, just dig into this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who sent that to me? Thank you for that, Brandon. Brandon mm-hmm. Veers. Thanks, Brandon. What's up, Brandon? Um, anyways, Corolla. <laughs> Corolla. Okay, so here is something that has danced around in my head as a potential topic mm-hmm. for years. Um, yeah, I don't really know how to pitch it, but uh, car factory wheels, and specifically cars that have like good ones, that's kind of like the anchor of a good car in my mind. Like, it kind of has to start with, the, I hate to say this, but it kind of starts with the rims. <laughs> <laughs> it all comes down to it. It's just like how, here's another way to put it. How special can a model really be if it doesn't have its own rim? Like unique, <laughs> you know, like model specific. Yeah, wheel. where like you see the car mm-hmm. and it's like you can identify it's the like, model. Oh damn! Yeah. Like there's the yeah Z06. I think that was a, that was only like that only became the case like up until like ten years ago, maybe. Like in the nine in the nineties, like everything had shitty. <laughs> yeah, there were some good ones <laughs> in the nineties. R32 GTR. Yeah, it's like the one. The one. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's like ex- the only place my mind went. Um, what about the salad shooters on the, uh, <laughs> the like C4 ZR1? Those are okay. There's a few. I mean, they're okay. Like on a normal car, it's like, oh, the uh, 15, the GSR wheel. Yeah. yeah. Like any of those, like any of those. Uh, well, there we go. GSR. <laughs> Blades. Blades. Are you talking blades or fat fives? So Either a, of them, bro. I'll take them both. <laughs> Unique. Clean, yes. clean set. I'm buying that all day. I don't care what the price is. But like, I think that's why that became a big deal. Because then cars started having good wheels. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, well, plus the wheels were so small back then. Yeah. Maybe that's what they it were is. like. They were like visually, they were a small, literally a small part of the, just of some, the cars. Some wood. tiny little thing. <laughs> yeah. Like a turbo Supra. You just couldn't upgrade on the factory wheels, <laughs> right? It had some like sixteen by seven and a half. Uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. it was just nothing you could do, and so you had to put something wider. And wheel, I think wheels were like crazy. I, I feel like cheap wheels didn't haven't really existed until yeah, like, Rota. until yeah. like China, like yeah, got in on the action. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Taiwan. I don't, I don't think something. you could buy like dirt cheap fucking aftermarket wheels. Like, really, like Kragers or something. Those aren't. <laughs> I mean, I don't think they were that cheap they're really? probably like made here it was like a thing you had to like buy wheels yeah and like, yeah and I, yeah it wasn't like well i could just buy i can buy a set of brand new wheels for like 200 bucks yeah you can get rims and tires <laughs> yeah. for like six bills <laughs> today brand new like new they're gonna be <laughs> bad, bad. Question, yeah questionable they're gonna be some like wanly unicorn <laughs> tires and stuff but that's just wild yeah i don't know because I like there's not a better wheel for the M5 than the factory one, in my opinion. Like it just looks like dumb if you upgrade. Like may, maybe some of them. Some of it's really fucking high end. It's got to be so expensive, and yeah. even then, it just kind of looks out of place. And I kind of feel the same way about C5 Z06. It's like factory wheels. They're just like killer. It looks good if you put the 18s on the front. Oh, does it? Is it 17, 18? Yeah. Is that the setup? Yeah, that people do that with the M5. It's like oh, rears right. all around. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's fine, but still, it's just the factory right. wheel. It's wide enough. It looks good. You lower it on the factory wheels. Mm-hmm. I think that is like a late '90s, early 2000s. Yeah, thing. Now a lot of cars have good wheels. Now, now that I think about it again, like going back to like vintage cars, like muscle cars. Like back in the day, there was like three different wheels. Yeah, which it, wheels? It was like you either have stock or you have Kragers. <laughs> torque thrust. <laughs> or torque thrust or those like five slot yeah. mags. Yeah. And, and steel that, 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 steel that, wheels. It's like you choose one of the. Those are your options. Yeah. You got your five options. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I haven't really found. Um, you know how like good new modern rims can kind of breathe life into an old model. Like people will be like, "Oh, this new BBS model came out," and yeah. then it's like they start putting them on old BMWs, and yeah. like yeah, those yeah, yeah. become cool. I haven't really seen a good wheel set up for muscle cars what you, feel, like old ones yeah i feel like there's just it's very difficult to upgrade the wheels i really try not to say rims <laughs> <I'm trying laughs> your yeah i just i feel like that's a very difficult like look to modernize without yeah. it, like looking weird yeah some some of them look good but yeah you have, you have to like put a lot of effort into it i think because those fenders aren't meant to have rims like flush <laughs> yeah big boy up yeah. to the like yeah, fenders yeah, yeah. like newer stuff is yeah i'm trying to think of like new stuff i kind of came and went i think it's an early 2000s phenom of having really good factory wheels because modern stuff that comes out I mean, some cars have really good wheels do they What's an example of something new that I was like... A wheel that you wouldn't change? Yeah, a wheel that you would like absolutely keep. Um, I mean, they're all fine. Wasn't that new Mustang? GT350R. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Damn. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Well, the that's, new, that's that Mach like, 1. Yeah, the new yeah, Mach 1. Yeah, those are pretty good. I think... Although, although a lot of those factory wheels just look just, like aftermarket. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's like made by BBS Probably, yeah. or a, something. A lot of times they are. Yeah. I guess that's true. TRD Pro. Those aren't <laughs> bad. Yeah. Those are pretty good. The outgoing fifth gen Z28 Camaro oh. rims. I think those are some of the best ever put on a car. That's period. also like a pretty period. common looking. It's similar to the Mach 1. Yeah. No, but yeah, yeah. Those Just that style of wheel. Yeah. Like looks pretty aftermarket. Yeah. It's a little aftermarket y. Well, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know how to present that. And I guess that's as good mm-hmm. as it's going to get. Uh-huh. So but that's rims for you, folks. Rims, <laughs> rims, folks. I think part of it, what I was thinking is like, has there been a car that has really good stock rims that wasn't a good car? Um, I would say the like 1998 RAV4. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Let me, let me go ahead and see what this looks like. Here's a picture of those rims. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> we had to edit that because we just spent about five minutes. There's many different choices. <laughs> searching for this wheel. So, first of all, the RAV4 is a great vehicle. So, mm-hmm. you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Step one. Yeah. We just spent 10 minutes looking for this factory wheel. I guess those are fine. Mm-hmm. Good enough. <laughs> I still hold that if the factory rims are good, the car is good. Mm-hmm. That's my challenge to the viewers. Just a bad car with good Fine. Yeah. Find a, a bad vehicle that had good good factory rims i don't think it exists and i think this first gen rav4 is killer (laughs) (laughs) why don't i yeah bad is good (laughs) well just something that like wasn't noteworthy something where like um people want the rims they put the rims on other models but the but the model that came with those rims is not good i think it doesn't exist i think if it gets its own set of rims it was e- high it was, effort. Yeah, it was special it was enough to get high effort from the factory. Yeah, that's my, that's my, uh, that's my claim. Also, it seems like it used to be like you would like a lot of people would f- take wheels from one car and put it on another. Mm-hmm. Like, that doesn't really seem to happen anymore. Yeah, you're right. They just go aftermarket. Yeah, there's there's no like oh I have a you know put like demon rims. Yeah, yeah. It's not here. like this is my 2015 Mustang GT, but I've got like the 2019 wheels on it yeah. yeah like i'm sure it happens but like no one even fucking notices if you're gonna go aftermarket you just go aftermarket you don't yeah. go within the brand and, or... and it used to be like you know you'd put mark four supra wheels on a mark three yeah it'd be like damn here it is yeah man mark three supra these things suck <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> they just will never have their day i don't think i mean they're fine but they're just not. You have to, you have gonna, to be really into the look. Mark III Super is like the C4 Corvette. It's just like never gonna. Yeah. It's never gonna go anywhere. Mm-hmm. They're fine. I mean, they're fine. They're not bad. Uh-huh. They're just. They're undesirable. They're always gonna be overshadowed yeah. by the ones that came after them. <laughs> That's how I feel. Okay. Well, if that wasn't the worst topic <laughs> <laughs> we've ever touched on, here's. <laughs> let me put this to you. Cars with no hoods. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Damn. <laughs> now, I now, now that's a look. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
So yesterday we were going to the zoo, mm-hmm. which is in a not not a particularly nice yeah part, You're, part of y- the city. You and your family, not us. Yes. Right, no, yes, no, yes, not yes. us my, as my, a trio. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, we, could, yeah. we should. I mean, it's on the radar uh-huh. of things. So, anyways, we were going to the zoo, and I was getting off the freeway, and I see a I see a Civic uh, coming towards us, like a ninety. Like in mid nineties, okay. Mm-hmm. And then I see, and it's, he's coming pretty hard. Like he's he's yeah. getting into it. And then I see that he doesn't have a hood. Mm-hmm. You know? Like it's like lowered four, four door, like pretty beat up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I I don't know enough, but I do know that it had a B series under the hood. Because <laughs> <laughs> I fucking saw yeah, it. You can see I it. it. And, I, and I was just like, oh okay. <laughs> I saw it. Driving a car without a hood. Have you ever done it before? Yeah. I don't I don't think I have. It's like it's weirdly exhilarating. <laughs> yes, it is. It's like strangely exciting. For some reason, it's. Have you ever driven a car with no doors? No. Uh, I mean, I've, I've, when I went rock crawling with a friend and he was in a Jeep that that's had. similar. Yeah. It didn't have doors. Yeah. For some reason, no hood feels almost as uh-huh. exposed. <laughs> yeah. You're pretty naked. Even though it's not you yeah. who is out there. <laughs> yeah. No hood. Even though it's doing all the same things it yeah. normally does, just when you're very aware mm-hmm. of the engine being <laughs> there <laughs> it's an odd feeling i just like that this car was just passing like i wasn't even that close to it and yeah. i was like oh he's i couldn't tell you know whether it was a v-tech yeah. b-series or not but it was definitely a yeah it was he a definitely st- had a twin cam it was a stock <laughs> kind, of, kind of monster <laughs> i couldn't see the cams so I, <laughs> I couldn't tell you what kind of plug wires was he i wearing? knew he didn't have that weak single overhead cam yeah there's not it shows what we said there's a lot of it speaking of hondas there's a lot of engines that just look fucking pathetic. <laughs> small, <laughs> small four cylinder. Especially because like those, when the engine bay is like clearly designed for something better. Yeah, yeah. You, you, have, have, like, the, you have like the one that's. I have like the one yeah. that like doesn't really take advantage of it. Yeah. Um. Many moons ago, maybe like three years ago, I rented a Jeep Grand Cherokee, mm-hmm. and it was a V6, and that engine bay. I mean. John has the same vehicle yeah. and it has a 6.4 liter <laughs> it's a big boy. Hemi V8 in yeah. it. And it I barely fits, yeah. And the one yeah, the one I had was the V6 and it was like it's like half the could, size, yeah. Yeah, you could legit like get in there uh-huh. with it. <laughs> it was like you could put like a gallon milk jug between the like engine and the radiator. Mm-hmm. There's just room. Um Actually, I think the worst one might be Oh, this is very mm-hmm. image. <laughs> the, the keys are clacking away over here. Every time you turn away, that's just editing for John. Yes. All right. Should I send it to you guys on the on the air? Yes. Yeah, send it. Send it live. All right. I'll see this. Okay. So this and the viewers can see it live. Okay, this, we'll all look at the, it at the same time. This is what time. I call the the most pathetic engine in the coolest car. Okay. All right. All right here it comes. Ready so, for him? <laughs> <laughs> What is this? What is so what are we looking at? Uh, that's an R32 Skyline. With a four-cylinder? With, with, with a yeah, C- carbureted? C18. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That came with a C18? Uh-huh. So a 1.8 liter carbureted four-cylinder mm-hmm. in the body of a car that once housed a <laughs> twin turbo. Twin <laughs> turbo six, straight double six. Cam. Man, is that fan shroud? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Wow. That is wild. That is, C-18-E. that is so much fan. <laughs> I really want to see a shot of that without the without the shroud. Shroud. If we can find such a shot, we'll yeah, I don't know, that's going to be tough. It's hard enough to find. Yeah, the but no guarantees. Now, okay, fair enough. I mean, <laughs> legitimately, I bet you, if you took that shroud out, you could literally stand. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> it, maybe even two people. Uh-huh. Maybe it's, like how it's not even a twin. Kid. Yeah. <laughs> It's like no, that might be mid-engine. It's kind <laughs> yeah, of looking. Yeah, it's like it's like it's like even with the strut. It's kind of there. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. He told us it was worth waiting. And then the guy that fucking buys is actually mine has better weight distribution than the Wait. GTR. Yeah, they always do that. BMW is so bad about that. Well, you know the four cylinder. It's better balanced. Even though it's down 180 <laughs> horsepower from the mid level one, <laughs> <laughs> the steering feels improved. Although. Well, 
one more thing on the skyline. Imagine if you fucking had like a wide body fucking R32. Yeah. With like the full GTR, like veil side kit or whatever. Put this in it. <laughs> <laughs> you have some like 335. <laughs> 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 then you just fucking open the hood. And that's, <laughs> it, what, is this like base, base model? Yeah, that's, that's like, this is like, they better not make so many <laughs> fucking more base. This is yeah. like roll up door handles and stuff. <laughs> That's wild. That's a rare vehicle. Mm, folks. Rare because it's so pathetic. The Skyline GXI. <laughs> is it? Is that what it's yes, it is. <laughs> I don't know how much money I think. Mom, can we have Skyline? Yeah. We have Skyline at home. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. It's probably, it's, I guess that's probably what? 115 horsepower? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. That thing is clean, though. No, I mean, it's, it's a clean again. Yeah. I bet it's, like, hard to work on. It's so... <laughs> it's that so motor is, like, so far away from you. It's probably, like... It's probably, it's, probably, it's probably hard to get to. You need some big arms. Yeah. Well, okay. Fair enough. I hope that thing didn't have good factory wheels. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I, have to, I have to eat my words. They weren't great. Yeah. How do we get on that? Oh, cars with no hood. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was just going to say, imagine rolling you, that with no hood. You see it more often than not, a car without a hood. Or it's like, for, I've seen a lot of cars that like missing one fender. It's just gone. Yeah. No hood does happen because I'm guessing you get Sorry, an uh, accident. Yeah, accident. Yeah. Nine, 90 horsepower. Yeah. Just to, oh, okay. Just to Thanks for the update. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't even break a Benjamin. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, I think the other thing about no hood is it's, uh, I want to say it's worse for cooling. I don't know how, but I remember reading that. Like it fucks up the airflow it somehow. Sucks yeah. Here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Where it like, it's like not good for cooling. Do you remember when, man, this podcast is so <laughs> bad. It's a really bad. It's real bad. So- sorry, folks. <laughs> Do you remember when people used to like raise the back of their Hondas? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 They would put some like, like spacers. spacer. Yeah. Volkswagens did that too. Yeah. Do they? Air and it just looks ones, broken. Yeah. Yeah. Well, an air cooled that's, that's, that's true that's I'll true that's true kind of okay, give okay. the yeah. pass maybe it's true but it's gotta, it's gotta be cool. would do it i'm sure there was some i'm sure somebody showed it like did something yeah <laughs> but you just end up with this car that looked like it was in an accident yeah i mean it just didn't look <laughs> it just looked bad i still see that sometimes <laughs> Because, you know, you still see 90s Hondas. Keep the dream alive. They still are on the road somehow (laughs) in the same condition they were 15 years ago. (laughs) It's just the hobby is untouched. It's just still going. Yeah. Cars with no hoods. Not bad. Okay. So um, maybe a week ago, I don't remember why we were talking about it, but the Chevy Bolt. Is mm. that still in uh, the bolt, the, by the way, with, with a, a B with a B as in boy, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. not the bolt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, the bolt with a B is still, yeah. still, still going strong. It is. It's still in production. Yep. Mm-hmm. I mean, I see them around. Not that my opinion of them has changed. <laughs> yeah. It's not like, oh, you know what? They were ahead of their time. It <laughs> actually is good. <laughs> Do people actually do want a pathetic looking small. <laughs> um, but the thing about that car is could have been good somehow yeah like it had all the ingredients they just combined them and baked them wrong yeah it's like it was a cheap electric car with a lot of range Mm -hmm. and reasonable acceleration but they put it for some reason in the like like the skin yeah like an aveo the sonic (laughs) yeah (laughs) Body yeah, style. and yeah. so I guess my question is: Do we know we should have another? We should have researched it. But you think that was a ground up project? Do I don't think. I mean, uh, not not one hundred percent. They gave it to the, the Aveo team. Well, I mean, yeah. I think they just at some point they were like, "What the, body can we like use?" The basic structure. Okay, we'll use our like front wheel drive. Yeah, mm-hmm. whatever. It's it, it's wild that you would because s- a ground up electric car does not it shouldn't be front wheel drive. And there's no reason. To yeah, make why it would it be front wheel drive? There's no restriction on what drive it is. Right. And I mean, I guess front wheel drive is what more stable? Maybe I don't know. I don't think so. You just wouldn't. You just wouldn't do it unless you're pathetic. Yeah. Unless you're GM <laughs> for some reason. Well, I don't know. The gas one was front wheel drive. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if they had ground up that car, because that car must have been very expensive to develop. Uh, I feel like it was probably high up I don't really there. Know, I don't really know what would be expensive on it because it just has a fucking big battery. But they've just never done something like yeah, that I mean, before. I, I'm like, sure it wasn't cheap, but... 
It doesn't fucking. It doesn't well, that's look what like I, an existing. That's yeah. what I mean. Maybe yeah. they were trying to cut costs by it had to be built on an existing production line right. or yeah, something. That, that's, that's probably it. Yeah. Like yeah. that could have they, been. They it. weren't gonna like build a new fucking factory for it because it's like mass produced. I we're mean, like, we're, we're like VW. I think had like a massive fucking thing to build to start building their new yeah. electric platform, which is you know real like an actual ground up. Yeah, they built it on their diesel line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean. I feel like GM went like 85% of the way there with the bolt and they could have, as they often do, as they often do. And it's just this like forgettable product. Well, The, the volt with the V is the same thing that that was like an actually yeah. like super fucking innovative thing. And yeah. they're like, no, let's put it in like a weird, like <laughs> small cramped hatchback thing. Yeah. And the second gen was like they, worse than the yeah, first. And they, they, they didn't even, and they, there's no reason they couldn't have put that in like a different type of vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. Like a, a like a Taurus. Or yeah, I don't, I'm either a more traditional sedan or a little SUV wagon. It thing. feels very much to me like their electric and hybrid vehicles was a different like department or division. Right. That was sort of started and then kind of like not really backed. Yeah. Well, although they do have that new Cadillac thing that you just were making, that you were already making fun of. Yeah. Because, okay, so here's that Cadillac thing. Yeah, what's I it mean, called? It's, it, has I don't a, know it has a really stupid name. I don't even know what it's called. It's called like the Iconic or this. Okay. Something. The Cadillac something with an what? I. Fuck, what is it? It's like a, no, it's. Well, any, we, the lyric, uh, it, maybe it's Ionic. What, no, that no, no, that's Hyundai. It's Lyric. <laughs> but it's. it's uh, it's lyric. I know, but I'm saying like uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. the fact that we had to remember. But it's lyric, not spelled. In. Yeah, it's L Y R I Q. It's lyric with a Q, obviously. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's like that thing's already fucking doomed to fail. Oh, you want to see my lyric? Yeah. Well, I mean, it, you, Cadillac made the fucking like El Dorado. Like, yeah. God. Well, this is what I'm. This is what I'm saying. It's like, why are they shooting themselves in the foot? <laughs> it's day not one. hard day one. to make a vehicle that's not stupid i mean the thing i'm sure it's fine but like why do you give it this like s- really weak sounding <laughs> see to me i th- i a name that has zero value here's my guess this is my guess to throw them a line mm. as to why they're just falling <laughs> <laughs> and tripping over themselves <laughs> I suspect they have a focus group or they have data from like 2013 (laughs) or something that says like people who buy electric cars want other people to know that it's electric and they want it to be very different and to stand out that it's electric yeah, and, you know, or it's like well, I mean, the, the looks of it don't stand out, but just the name, just like we need to give like a, a very. Forward but I mean, look at the uh, here's the interior. I mean, the, the name the sounds interior. like you, the name sounds like the, a fucking like women's fashion store that open up in the mall. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you know there's a lyric uh, opening? Uh, the, uh, the, this top is from Lyric. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where'd you get those leggings? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's the athletic line. Can of you lyric. imagine like a like a, a dude being like, "Yeah, I want the lyric." <laughs> <laughs> well, I j- I mean, I'm telling you, I think they are designing to an audience that like either doesn't exist <laughs> yeah, it most likely doesn't exist <laughs> that's why i mean that's why it's a focus group because it's like what would you like to see in an electric car and people are like exciting technology <laughs> and like innovative whatever cool. you know? do you need names lights. yeah like cool things i mean look at this interior they have this like 40 inch <laughs> wide screen mm-hmm. who why who says that it needs to have this huge, expensive, dumb <laughs> screen. Well, it's electric, so I'm gonna want to watch <laughs> hyper wide screen I, I video. I like to look way over. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's just it's just like who's steering the fucking boat here? <laughs> and I think it's focus group data. That's yeah. what I mean because there's no, there's clearly no designer with a vision. Mm-hmm. You know, or it's like, oh, they're but then like, even Ford like comes out with the the Mach E, which is like fairly generic as far as like an electric vehicle, but like everyone's fucking talking about it. I think the Mach E had a like product manager, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I literally, I literally think GM has this like wheel of fortune <laughs> thing that they spin, and it's like <clears throat> like. 46 inch LCD. I mean, like, when, you're, when the name of the car is immediately mistaken for a Hyundai, <laughs> you, 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 you stepped off with the wrong foot. Yeah. I mean, isn't there somebody checking the work? Like, I like, guess like if I told you that I was buying a Kia Lyric, you'd be yeah. like, cool. 
Well, you you would be like, no, Kia doesn't make the lead. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. That's a very Kia. I'm name. still not convinced you don't have Ionic in the lyric <laughs> convinced. No, Ionic is a Hyundai. I know. Yeah, I yeah. But I mean, that's when they, they, it sounds like they'd be on yeah. the same fucking showroom floor. I mean, it's One's like. a fucking, remember when Cadillac like meant something? Well, that's what it's like. Okay, electric cars are brand new. You've got a chance to establish how, what are you going to be yeah, in electric cars? R- right. And it's like. Oh, there's many directions to go. <laughs> Which one do you want to go? Do you want to go this route that mm. looks like a fake internet rendering? <laughs> With a name that's even worse. Do you want to pick the one that sounds like a leak? <laughs> the, an unconfirmed rumor? It's like, they're just done. They're mm. done. It also just doesn't match the whole line. Like, isn't all Cadillac's new line? It's like the well, XT. Well, well, to be fair, Cadillac kind of sucks. That's what I mean. Like but all, like, like, all of them. Like, they suck. changed the name of all of their cars to just be like n- letters and numbers. Yeah. And then they come out. That's like, man, that, I'm how is for, Cadillac actually still around? I'm waiting for the Lyric V. Uh-huh, yeah. Dude, no doubt GM's going to have to go through bankruptcy again. <laughs> I just feel it coming. Well, no, I, I think they, they make money by the, from their bread and like their trucks. <laughs> Yeah, they're, 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 they're bread and butter. They should just rebrand products. the whole thing and just call it Silverado. <laughs> <laughs> just like Dodge. Just, yeah, Dodge broke the, off Ram. That's yeah. the company. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyways, I'm just kind of disappointed with um, they just always electric cars. Mess up on it's like it's supposed to be this exciting new thing. I mean, I think companies well, are I mean, the, I mean, the vet they fucking hit out of the park. They're not. The vet. The, 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 C- the C8. C8. Oh, you mean non-electric? Yeah, yeah just sure. I mean, the, the, it's not like they can't do it. They just well, that's why I mean, routinely the fuck vet. Ha- everyone on the Corvette team, I assume, they have some idea of like yes or no that should be part of this car, right? When they're like, should we do this? And probably even the yeah, I would, they I would, all kind of pro- go probably even yes. like the pickup team is probably like yeah, where yeah. it's like no, we don't like that because we all understand right. yeah, yeah. who this product is for, right? Where the lyric it's like, <laughs> should it look like this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Should it look sporty? <laughs> should it be maybe futuristic? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> what is we the need da- a, we need a cue in the name. <laughs> what does the data tell us? Mm. Yeah. It feels like that whole car was designed by middle managers <laughs> <laughs> like from, from the ground up. Um so in related news, BMW, I don't know if this is like an unconfirmed rumor. I suspect it's like a rumor plus plus. But apparently the next gen M5 is going to have a hybrid and then a full electric option. Mm-hmm. So like a thousand horsepower. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know. And doesn't it? It's so funny because once you go electric where it's like you could make an electric M5. Mm-hmm. That's very on brand. Well, well yeah. every car is an electric M5. I know. But then every, it's like. Every electric. Like a Tesla Model S is a fucking electric yeah, M5. Yeah. And it's like as soon as you do that, it's like, well, hold on. The whole thing that made an M5 special was it was a gas engine that was like silent <laughs> <Yeah>. and smooth. <laughs> and it's like all of that learning mm-hmm. is just all gone. All of yeah. that lineage and everything is just like, well, I guess we're making a Model S now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like what's left? Yeah. Ours is going to be quieter. Ours is going to be really fast. <laughs> Ours is going to be even more painful <laughs> than the Taycan or whatever. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just like fast, big electric sedan it's like I don't know where you go with it. Yeah, yeah. like this as, is an M. Yeah, as soon this as one has adaptive suspension. As soon as I read that, it was like, oh, so the M5 like done. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, basically, that's just, yeah. <laughs> like the current ones, like the last like good one. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, whatever. It's the way things are going. I'm sure they'll make it interesting somehow, but. It just kind of comes back. We've said before, it's like, how do you compete with an electric car? <laughs> how do you like establish one from another? Yeah. Like, oh, well, like, have you driven the batteries in a <laughs> the motor BMW? So German batteries. <laughs> yeah. Just the stitching <laughs> on them. Yeah. I don't know. Hopefully that interior, that interior is going to have to be amazing. I don't know what they could do, but. Yeah. Because, because they're gonna even, something. even if it's like GM, it's not going to be like, oh, well, you know, GM. You know, BMW, they have the edge in the in the motor. Obviously. Yeah, the German powertrain. So, like, yeah. that, you, theoretically, that just makes it easier to compete. It should. It's not like, well, they had to put all their money into the engine. I know. I mean, it used to be. Yeah. It was like, what's the new powertrain right, going to be? Yeah, right. I was like, oh, it's electric. <laughs> cool. Yeah. I mean, even the hybrid one. I don't know. This is a weird time. Mm-hmm. 
This is definitely a peak. We're definitely in a golden age. If you could like old gas well, engines. Well, I think that's kind of going back to the last episode, that T50 yeah. hypercar mm-hmm. thing. That car is kind of like designed to go against. Like that is going to right. be kind of the shape of enthusiast cars in yeah. the coming years. Hopefully, yeah. Well, you just, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to look Cause like. Because that, that car is designed just to be like fun. Yeah. Yeah. And but it's, they're making a hundred of them. Right. But know? I mean like that, but I mean, that's going to be the formula. That formula, like yeah. A sports car. Yeah. But can a high volume manufacturer dedicate a gas only fun model and yeah, sell it and make yeah, money? That, that'll, like, be, that'll be harder. That's what I'm afraid well, of. I mean, it'll just be like every car will have to be a Miata. Basically. Yeah. Or like, I don't know. Can you make the Mustang? Does the Mustang have enough people who care yeah. to support By a gas engine one? It'll be interesting. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe there's, maybe they have enough runway mm-hmm. and there's enough like knowledge built up. They can, they got a couple more generations of gas engines yeah, I think so. that they can do. Yeah. I don't know. I just haven't yet seen, um, exciting electric cars. Honda, maybe oh, the E, the E it's, I mean, like, it's, still, it's still just like a city car. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. Cool, but it's, yeah. There's just not a lot exciting about the yeah. transition. Right. Like, it's like, cool, it's going to be cheaper mm-hmm. and like quiet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll have a little more space inside. Yeah. They'll be like, the, be able to hear the stereos better. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, the Bolt. <laughs> Pick one up. I mean, I see him around. It's like, hmm. So this is totally unrelated. But nice choice. I remember oh, we talked about the GR Yaris. Yes. Toyota a while back. That thing is fucking sweet. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, did I send you that video? No. There's like a video of just some guy in Japan like checking one out in detail. Mm. And like that car is like pretty fucking spe- like it's crazy that they just built that thing. Mm-hmm. Like it's not it's not just like oh here's a here's yeah. a turbo Yaris. It's like yeah. that thing's like it's like an Evo versus whatever the fucking Evo was based on. Mirage. Mm-hmm. Like yeah yeah Mirage. Like there's like nothing aside from like the body structure. Really? Yeah. It's like all the all the body panels are different, the fucking engine, yeah. the transmission. You the... love to see companies just like lose money on it. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's like yeah. they just go for it. it. They just go for yeah. it. Yeah. So you can, and you can send like 70% of the power to the rear wheels. Wow. It's just like it's like But pretty it's a wild. Yaris. That's yeah. pretty small. Yeah, it's tiny little two-door. Huh. But we don't get them here? No. no. Not even the regular Yaris. <laughs> oh, really? They we used even, to, but they, yeah, they, they didn't, didn't even bring. Yeah. Americans thirst for yeah, big. But it's uh-huh. not just like oh, it's the turbo yards. Like, yeah, oh, this right. This thing is like a fucking like homologated. Like, mm. crazy well, twenty five years, <laughs> you'll be able <laughs> to wait, import one wait, to Oregon wait, and drive wait, it in yeah. California. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, good job, Toyota. Uh-huh. Um. Okay. Here is something that I feel like other outlets are afraid <laughs> to touch it's kind of touchy subject. it's a little touchy um ja rule's <laughs> character arc yeah. in in the original fast and in the furious. original fast and furious did he show up in any other movies it was just that right i think just that one yeah. you're talking about leon right is that his name yeah isn't it no no leon, no no no, no, no not leon's leon. the isn't it leon no or leon's or? one of the crew guys he drives like oh the, yeah that's right fuck what's his name fuck. i don't think he had a name dude. no he did he did. He definitely had a name. He definitely has a name. It wasn't just Jaw. Shit, I can't believe Leon. Okay, well, I was thinking about it the other day. Is Leon the one that drives the Maxima? Uh, yeah, Leon's the one that tries to fight Paul Walker. No, no. No, that's Vince. That's Vince. Oh, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Tells him to go to Fatburger? Yeah. <laughs> I'm in your face. <laughs> that wasn't Leon? Anyways, look, let's focus. <laughs> I'm talking about Jaw. What the fuck was his name? God damn Edwin. Edwin, sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, I guess okay. he had a name. Okay, so here's his whole character arc. Is Wait, what does Leon look like? <laughs> Bring up a picture of Leon. Here's Leon. <laughs> <laughs> we may as well cover Leon yeah. also. Yeah. I'll add him to the notes. <laughs> here's a picture of his car. Yeah, here's Leon. Um, Ja Rule's character arc. <laughs> getting back to... I just looked up... Wait, what, what I just looked it? up the actor's name who plays Leon. It's Johnny Strong. <laughs> Damn. What's up, Johnny? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so Boy, this one is rude. Let's, let's bring it in. Come on. Let's show how, let's show how polished and professional we are after 70 episodes. Let's tighten the chains. Come on, guys. Let's get serious. Yeah. Okay, so Ja Rule. Ed, Ed, Edwin. Yeah. Edwin, Edwin in yeah. Fast and the um, Furious. Oh, yeah, because he says, like, Edwin's happens to know a few things. 
Sure. <laughs> I don't remember that part, but it's sure. Like one of his like two lines. I'll believe so. it. So his girlfriend is like like if you win monica basically she's like if you win you get me and my friend mm-hmm. uh-huh. which is oh, like damn. remember that it's like weird oh yeah, yeah. Right, right right that's right that's right and okay. he's so he and then he's like damn uh-huh. Uh-huh. he's in yeah mm. and so he's motivated that's our intro to edwin mm-hmm. and then we have you know, hold on I, I know we talked about this before when we talked about fast and furious tokyo drift mm-hmm. but what kind of girl is just like, if you win this car yeah. race yeah i'll do anything it's kind of a common theme that's, in these movies Movies, but has that these, ever happened in real were life? These, ever? Were these? Uh, let us know. <laughs> yeah, have, you ever, have you ever gotten a girl? Has your girlfriend uh, or guy left be, you? Because you, what you lost a street race? Gotten together or broken up over a street race? So first she like pitches this and he's mm-hmm. down. Mm-hmm. That's not a red flag to him <laughs> right, for some right, reason. Right, right. And then classic line where he screams monica does he also say like menage <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah and so then he loses the race no. and then she just absolutely clowns him <laughs> yep. at the end she just leaves him which was a part of the deal uh-huh. there was that was not part of the deal and so his whole character arc is wait was, was that so was that like his girlfriend wasn't it i don't know monica I know. or is monica well, the other did they, did they have a pre-existing relationship i think they did i think it's implied that they, they've they probably like, been together for years and they're probably ready to have a kid i huh? assume they've yeah they've got like a stable they were getting ready to start a family like a strong relationship uh-huh. And she gives him this underhand mm-hmm. pitch. <laughs> and so Minaj. it's like, yeah, it's like threesome, losing a race, uh-huh. and she just disses him. <laughs> yep. And that's his character. <laughs> <He> never, <laughs> and then he's gone. Uh-huh. That's his whole <laughs> Fast and the Furious. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, yeah, I was in Fast and the Furious. <laughs> and the guy who lost the race and the yeah. girlfriend just He clowned. saw that script and he's like, yes, clowned I want that. I mean, to him. Can't believe his agent let him do that. She yeah. just clown. Wasn't well, she like, you didn't win or something? <laughs> yeah. And everyone's like, oh. oh. And there might be an end bomb. <laughs> that's it. That's it. And he's mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. I just feel like they did him kind of dirty in that. Mm-hmm. It's like his job. <laughs> he needs redemption. He was pretty big at the time, and it's like that's how you're gonna uh, play him in that movie. If that, if that would have gone differently, he wouldn't have gotten involved in the whole fire festival thing mm-hmm. years yeah. later. Oh yeah, was that job? <laughs> 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 trying to redeem himself for <laughs> yeah. Fast and the Furious. Fire mm-hmm. Festival is gonna put me back on the map. Well, 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 it's actually funny because Ludacris came in the second one, right? Yeah, they kind of like yeah. swapped him out for Luda. Antiris. And Tyrese, wait, oh, yeah, that's right. They're both. Yeah, they're but both, they both did they coexist in the, in the universe at the same time? Yeah, they were both introduced in Too, too Fast, Too Furious. Furious. I feel like Jaw could have been Tyrese. Well, well that's what, that, that's what I mean. Like, but if it didn't, because Tyrese like was actually a good actor or a decent actor. Yeah, Tyrese mm, killed it. Well, well, for that, role. I mean, no, no, but I'm just saying, like, if he if he didn't have Fast and Furious, that guy'd be nowhere. Oh yeah, sure. He's in Transformers. I'd put him on the. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on, dude. Transformers. Okay. Yeah, Jaw ja, ja kind of like blacklisted him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was in all of them. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. What, what about Ludacris? Is Ludacris in any other? Was he only in that one? He's been he's been in a couple movies. He was in that movie no, Crash. No, but, but I mean, he was only in that one Fast and Furious movie. No, he's in all of them since two. He besides is? three. <laughs> is he? Yeah. Yeah, Ludacris is in. Oh, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's <laughs> what, what, like so, a uh, central character. Oh, that's right. No, yeah. But Tyrese is also in Yes. Okay. They got both of them. They just keep but, adding but, on to but the But didn't Ludacris have like a very small role in, yeah. in Too Fast? He was just like owner he was, of He was like owner yeah, he of the shop. Yeah, he was just like some hustler. Yeah. And he like, okay, he like organized spot, the race. Do you want to spot on like a 10 movie franchise? Mm-hmm. Jesus, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad. This is, this is definitely our worst case. <laughs> the people will be the, the yeah let us know let us know if you think there's been a worse podcast than this oh man okay well this will save us <laughs> it's just circling the drain <laughs> we should just <laughs> just end it now yeah just put any bad any topic that we know is not good just put it in here we've already we know everyone's tuned out we've already yeah just clean the books on this podcast okay so i'm not a fan of like videos of people getting hurt Mm -hmm. let me just say that's like not some people are like into that yeah like gore videos yeah it's pretty sick it's like that is not cool people except there is one kind of video where i am (laughs) semi okay with that mm-hmm. 
And that is videos where people are doing donuts in the street or at some kind of like parking lot, parking lot, mm-hmm. something. And somebody gets hit by the car. Yeah. One of the bystanders. Somebody. Well, is, they're not. I wouldn't even say they're bystanders. No, there. It's not. They're, that they're, one's not cool. Yeah. Goes into the crowd. No, not. Yeah, oh, right, yeah, right, yeah, 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 yeah. That I don't like. But the people who are kind of like asking for it a little <laughs> uh-huh, bit, there's yeah. people who like for some reason they want to like get in. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like modern day bullfighting. Yeah, it's a little bit like that. <laughs> yeah. They're like in there with the phone. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. And then they just for some reason just get like blasted yeah. by the car. <laughs> And then everyone around them is always the same reaction. They're like, oh, (laughs) (laughs) like, like, yeah, this is very dangerous. Okay. So that's one version, which Mm I semi, I still don't like it if they're really hurt, Mm -hmm. but if they get pretty hurt, it's it's semi kind of hurt is okay. (laughs) The other one that I can't help, but just be drawn to is when people are doing donuts and they somehow fall out of their own car. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Like they have the door open. Yeah. yeah they're like, they're, they're doing something. They like fall out of the car somehow. <laughs> the G forces. I guess. Like it doesn't, it's like a, it's almost like a nightmare where you're trying to run away and you keep tripping. Like that seems like nightmare fuel where I'm driving my car and I fall out of my car. <laughs> <laughs> like it doesn't seem like it would happen, but this is like kind of a common, it's pretty common type for, of video. For, first of all, it requires you not to be wearing a seatbelt and, get, and have your door. Open. I guess yeah. you have the door. Yeah, it's like you're asking for it. Yeah, and you have to be doing a donut in like in one the, direction. In the wrong direction. Yeah, if you're doing it in the other direction, you're gonna <laughs> you're, fall into the car. You're playing with fire. Yeah, it's like it's kind of like bull riding. Yeah, and then it like bucks you. <laughs> It bucks you off. <laughs> and so they they <laughs> fall out of their own car. <laughs> and then they're like It's shocking their car usually doesn't stop. Yeah, and then they're like and then they're like chasing the, their car. <laughs> and it's like, what? Well, yeah. yeah, especially the ones that are like they're not hurt. You know, they're not run over by the car <laughs> yeah. somehow. And then they have to like try to get back into the car <laughs> like while saving some dignity somehow. <laughs> Those are the only two I'm okay with. I, I, well, I like the ones when, like, there's that one that John sent. Maybe, I think you should sent like a week or two ago. There's some guy just doing donuts. He just, like, just goes straight into a curb. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Like, those are, those are pretty, like, when you're doing donuts in a parking lot at night and, it's like, like, you, you don't, like, you don't see, like, an, an ob- object <laughs> and you just, like, yeah, or plow. you just stay in it. Yeah. <laughs> you just let it happen. And it's like, these guys, like, fuck up their... Ca- yeah. The car is, like, done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, like, done. And then the guy, they always, like, casually get out, like, oh, let's see the damage. Yeah, and then they're, like, they're kind of looking at it together. Like, oh, Ooh. shit. Yeah, that, that, Can we fix this? Oh, it's really fucked up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not driving this car. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn. I didn't expect that to happen. And then, and then I'm sure all those are reported. It's like, a, I was driving home and a kid jumped out in front of me and I had to <laughs> yeah. swerve. Yeah, he's like trying to get What's the insurance, insurance to cover. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was driving home from my <laughs> triple shift at the orphanage. <laughs> <laughs> I was just dropping one of the children <laughs> off at the library. A log fell off a truck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyways. Okay. <laughs> and finally. <laughs> um, I feel like we may have talked about this before. I'm not sure, but... <laughs> La okay, like there's a point of diminishing returns with exhaust loudness where a little bit louder sounds good. Like most exhausts, you can no, I wouldn't say most. So many exhausts you can make sound better <laughs> mm-hmm. by like adding uh, up some tuned yeah thing, <laughs> making it a little louder. And like, you know, there's tastefully loud and mm-hmm. whatever we can all car exhaust loudness Mm -hmm. is one of the more like consumable agreeable Mm -hmm. parts of car enthusiasm in the hobby Mm -hmm. but there are some people who like their exhaust to just be like as loud as possible basically like straight pipe like straight cat Mm -hmm. open header Mm -hmm. yeah like loud to the point where it's like hurting it's physically hurting you (laughs) as they drive by yeah and I'm only, whenever I see one of the or hear one of these, it's always like, who's the person? Mm-hmm. Like what? Because it's not the car is like ruined to drive. Basically, <laughs> yeah. you, it's like it's so loud at any throttle mm-hmm. that it's just like. I mean, this isn't even like loud but good. Right. It's like pure rasp. Right. 
just and and sh- shocker alert, they don't drive these cars easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're not just kind of <laughs> putting around. Yeah. you're putting because sometimes like you'll see like a a super badass like hot rod or even like a like a pro street car like at a cruise night or something where it's like fucking blower and a cam. It's like, <laughs> yeah, like, sure. Like that's, that guy, that car is loud as shit, but like that's kind of cool. It doesn't loud. bother you, and the guy is like trying to. Like, he's like trying his best. Yeah, to keep it quiet, yeah, like, like be respectful. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. He's like yeah when they'll give it a little. Yeah, he's like, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're like cool. Yeah, like, it's like yeah. it's like the loudest vehicle, and he's doing it respectfully. Right. He's, he's like he's like doing his best to yeah. keep it yeah. contained. It's like uh, it's like a instrument he's playing <laughs> for you, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and then there's yeah. and then there's some people who just want to scream into a <laughs> megaphone. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's karaoke night. <laughs> And they just want to scream as loud as possible, and so like it's kind of a weird trend. Like it 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 happened here and there with four cylinder mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah, when we were kind of coming of age, mm-hmm. where you'd hear something, and it's like, oh dude, <laughs> it's just <laughs> bro, you know, it's just like oh that doesn't sound good. But people started doing it with like V8s yeah. mm-hmm. and stuff like. I don't know about commonly, but mm-hmm. it happens quite a bit. Yeah. Someone, I was down here, coming down here, and someone passed me on the freeway with that. And uh-huh. it's like, I physically cringe uh-huh. when they do it. It's just, it's just, it's embarrassing and sounds bad <laughs> at the same time. Um, so I don't know. I feel like the audience needs to weigh in on this. <laughs> yeah. Do you, have you ever had that phase? Uh-huh. And do you know anyone who currently is stuck in that phase? <laughs> um, and give us their story. Okay, can we put this one to rest? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> We're about to pass there. <laughs> yeah. Take it out behind the barn. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for joining us for a very special episode 70, the last podcast <laughs> at John's Old Digs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll see where we end up next. That's actually a good question. Are we going to be... Well, I guess we'll be up and running. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll make yeah. something happen. Yeah. Well, yeah. Even, I said we got, we got my van. Got your van, yeah, as a backup. Mobile, mobile yeah. studio. Well, if you made it to the end of this one, uh-huh. high five. Uh-huh. <laughs> we're sorry. It's hard for us to do, and we're <laughs> sitting here recording. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, thank you for all the support, all the fans. I assume we're at 100K. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that. And we will see you guys next time. See you. See you.